This is meant to be a short video for uh, people using LuckGrib who may not be sailors. Uh, I wrote this app for sailors, uh, but much to my surprise it's being used by meteorologists and uh, weather enthusiasts. And uh, I shouldn't say surprise, I mean I've designed the app to be the best at showing weather data that I can possibly make it. So this video is meant to be a short note for people using LuckRib who may not be sailors, uh, who are general weather enthusiasts. Uh, LuckRib is perhaps unique in that it was designed for sailors to help uh, to help us with our <laughs> travels at sea. Uh, but it's so good at viewing weather data that it's being used by meteorologists and weather enthusiasts uh, all around the world, which is very cool. Uh, so the LuckRib server cluster uh, does downloads uh, of weather data uh, from a, a wide variety of weather services around the world and it makes it available to you through the server cluster and, uh, and those downloads are very fast uh, but if you know this area uh, you'll see that the parameters being offered by LuckRib are a subset of the parameters being offered by many of the weather models uh, and if you're a weather enthusiast, you may want access to more parameters than are available uh, through the LuckRib server cluster. So this note is, uh, we'll show you how to get at those for a few of the models. So before I dive into how you do that in LuckRib, uh, if you, I'll go, go into some of the details behind the scenes. So a lot of the weather data that is available through North America, through, through the USA, not Canada, sorry, uh, is available f at the site called Nomads, uh, nomads.ncep.noaa.gov. You can find this by Googling Nomads, uh, perhaps Nomads download GFS. But you'll come to this site, uh, which is a, a central place where most of the weather data being made available through NCEP uh, can be found. So for example, the the GFS data is available through this HTTPS link uh, and you have choices for different uh, it has some his historic data as well as the most recent so I'll go into the most recent version here and you have a choice of uh, the atmospheric or the wave data the wave data is relatively new uh, I want atmospheric for this demonstration and now here are all the, this is the, all the data being offered by NOAA for this weather model, the, the GFS. Uh, so these GFS, uh, the PGRB2 files, they have all of indexes. And uh, this file is now, uh, it's a list of all of the weather data, all of the weather parameters available through the GFS. Uh, and if you go through this list, you'll see that it's much, much, much longer uh, than the weather data being offered through LuckRib. So if you're a weather enthusiast, you may be curious about how do I get this data? I want all this stuff rather than just what LuckRib is offering. Uh, and you can do that. So if you do find some parameters in this list you are curious about, then uh, here's how you would do it. Going back to LuckGrib, so this as with any download, uh, the first step is to choose a region. Uh, you can do that by selecting an area or just using the whole visible region on the screen. Uh, next step will be to open up the download manager. Oh, and by the way, this all works on the iPad and iPhone just as well. Uh, there's a different interface for how you download files, of course, but other than that, it's the same, same capabilities. So I want to choose a new request. And then for this one, I want a global model. I'll do a GFS uh, download. And there's an area in here called models served by NOAA. And then in brackets, it says slow downloads. And opening that up, uh, there's three models which are being offered here. And I want the GFS, the version of the GFS, which is served served by NOAA. 
Uh, so when I choose that, the list of parameters now is uh, is long. Uh, if you open up all these groups, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of data available here, uh, which isn't offered by Lecarib directly. Uh, and the reason for that is just it, the the amount of data is just phenomenal. This this you know m multiple hundreds of, of gigabytes, and uh, well, I, <laughs> the demand from my from my customers uh, isn't high enough to offer all of this stuff. But if you're a weather enthusiast, you may want uh, to see some of these things. So here's how you, you you'd open up the parameters for this version of GFS, the slow download version, and uh, choose the ones you want. So I'll do a short demo of uh, doing pressure and wind, which is available through Lecrib, of course. I'll do composite composite reflectivity, that's a simulated radar parameter, and maybe I'll do the water equivalent of accumulated snow depth, and go to the downloads area, choose the resolution, uh, a quarter of a degree, every six hours for seven days, and ask it to download. So these downloads will be much slower. Uh, for every parameter combination of level and forecast, the app is going through the Nomads site to get some data. Uh, so it'll, it, it may take, well, between half a minute to uh, several minutes to download the data, depending upon how much you ask for. I'll just speed this up. Yeah, and there are the data that's arrived now. So here's the simulated radar data we asked for. Uh, and if I hover the cursor over, uh, I asked for the water equiv equivalent of cumulated snow depth, uh, which is in the file. And you can see that because the text is showing values for that. Although I've asked for snow depth in this area, and there's no snow. Oh, there's a little bit of snow up here. Uh, so you'll notice that there's no uh, image being shown for that parameter. Uh, I've when I have been writing, writing this program, I've been creating these color images for parameters, which I understand and uh, and which are common. Uh, but if you start downloading parameters from uh, Nomads this way, you'll often end up downloading a parameter which won't be shown visually. Uh, there's a video online. Uh, in Lecrib YouTube channel, which shows you how to create your own images for these more rarely used parameters. So if you want to make a, an image for that parameter, uh, you can watch that video and figure it out. That works on Mac, not an iPad, unfortunately. So yeah, that's, that's how you can get at all of the uh, data you want. Uh, if you're a weather enthusiast or a meteorologist, this might be handy for you to find uh, data which isn't up being offered through Lecrib directly. Uh, this mechanism uh, also works uh, with a regional model. So there's the, the HER model is another uh, very popular model for North America, uh, and also the NAM, the NAM, the NAM Nest, or the Continental USA NAM. Uh, they're both offered uh, in the same way through the NOAA slow download path. And if you go to these parameters, there's Again, a lot of parameters being offered through this mechanism. So yeah, that's a little short a short note. Uh, if you're a weather enthusiast and you want to get more weather data, then that's how you can do it. Uh, have fun. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.